Let's accept it. Most of us started watching English movies for sex education. Because all that Hindi movies were showing was this. And if by some dumb luck we get to kiss someone, we should at least know how. But my English teacher was a religious man. When during one period he had to show us a movie, he picked one where nobody was kissing anybody. Baby's day out. And sitting in the room with 60 other students, I realized, oh, so he can watch a movie to learn English also. And since then, trust me, watching movies has improved my spoken English skills. So if you also have been watching movies since the time Jake froze to death in Titanic and have still not learned the language, then in today's video, we are going to see four simple steps you must follow so that movies start teaching you English. Five of my favorite movies that you must watch to improve your sentence formation skills. And towards the end, I'll give you a bonus tip so that you learn English every time you get on your phone or your laptop. But before that, if you like my work, make sure you hit that big fat like button because it motivates me to make more videos. Let's begin. I'm sure most people have asked you to watch the same movie twice, read the delayed subtitles, pause and write the words you've learned. But all of these suggestions make a movie very boring. But if you want to learn English and also be entertained, then here are the four steps that you can follow. Step number one, start simple. The simplest movies to learn English from are made by people who are like you. Let me explain. I'm Indian. And when I was in college, I couldn't understand what Jake was telling Rose. I can't turn away without knowing you'll be all right. But I understood what Kohli Saab was telling Aishwarya Rai. Very you love to my mama? Yes, she's very enthusiastic about the marriage. It is the same reason why you understand my English too. Because both of us are from the same country. Movies made by people from some other land will have their cultural references. Like Caviar, Brooklyn Bridge. Insidious Sword, Tiffany's, things and phrases that we have not come across yet. And because both the language and the references are new to us, our brain shuts off completely and refuses to learn. So in the beginning, pick movies that are made by people who have the same accent as you, same culture as you. Because that makes learning really simple. Some Desi English movies you can watch are Bride and Prejudice, Bend It Like Beckham and Life of Pi. So pick any of these movies and bring it on. Step number two, who do you want to be? As a kid, I wanted to be just like Vicky from Small Wonder, a super smart, super strong robot. I won't understand everything from that TV show, but my brain made an extra effort to understand it because I was so in love with her character. So step number two is to watch movies that connect with you at a personal level, irrespective of who they are made by. For example, suppose you want to be a lawyer, then watch movies like Legally Blonde, Liar Liar. If you want to learn public speaking, watch movies like The King's Speech, Dead Poet Society. If you want to be a wizard, now there are two reasons why I'm asking you to watch these type of movies. Number one, since these are so closely related to who you are, you can learn English sentences from them that you can use in your daily conversations. And number two, who knows, because you like them so much, these characters might end up inspiring you to work hard in your respective careers. Step number three, accents. The way people use the English language all over the world is so different from each other. For example, as an Indian, I would say, hello. An American might say, hello, what's up? A Britisher might say, how are you? What's up? An Australian might say, good day, mate. Hi, from Australia. And Louis from Ant-Man will say And I'm like, damn, I got all nervous because I keep mad secrets for you, bro. If people around the world cannot sync up on the word hello, imagine how different the rest of the sentences would sound. But be it in a job or in business, you might have to interact with people from US, UK, Canada, Australia. When I was a software developer, my first client was from Australia. And I would always have my team lead sitting right next to me during conference calls because I would not understand what the client was asking us to do. That's how different 
the language sounded to me. So for this step, pick one accent a month, especially the one related to your work and watch movies of actors who have that accent. For British, you can watch movies like Notting Hill, Kingsman, Love Actually. For Australian, you can follow actors like uh, Chris Hemsworth, Nicole Kidman, Hugh Jackman. Step number four, become a die-hard fan. A die-hard fan is somebody who is 100% obsessed with their favorite game, movie or person. And if you become a die-hard fan of a universe or a character, then you will do everything to know more about them. For example, a Marvel fan will not just watch Marvel movies, but also read all of its comic books. A Harry Potter fan will read all the seven books, will watch all the movies and read all the fan fiction articles online. And Christopher Nolan fans will watch the same movie hundreds of times until they understand it, just because they are Nolan fans. So find where your loyalties lie, because once you become a fan of something, you will do everything to know more about it. And in that process, also learn the English language. Here are the five types of movies which I think you must watch to expand your horizons because after all, variety is the spice of life. Number one, for animation, watch movies like Croots, Shrek, Moana, How to Train Your Dragon. They have been made with kids in mind, so they'll also have simple sentences for you to learn from. Number two, for superhero movies, I'd recommend all the Avenger movies, Star Wars and Wonder Woman. You have to watch Wonder Woman. All of these superhero movies will also help you with step number four, that is becoming a die-hard fan. Number three, sci-fi. If you want some out-of-the-world entertainment, then you must watch Avatar, The Martian and Wally. -E. Number four, romance movies, Notting Hill, Fault in Our Stars and P.S. I love you. All of these three will make you cry like a baby. And finally, number five is action. If there is one action series that you must be a fan of, it's John Wick. Because there is no one like Baba Yaga. I hope you like that list. Comment below and recommend me some of your favorite Hollywood movies so that I can also watch something new this weekend. Now, watching movies is great. But wouldn't it be better if you also talk to someone who has the same accent as the character you like? But our today's sponsor, Camly, helps you have one-on-one -on -one private conversations with tutors around the world, from US, UK, Canada, who are available 24 cross 7. They won't judge you if your English is a little funny, but they'll provide you with feedback that'll help you improve your English speaking skills. You can download the app, select a tutor and start talking just like this. Rebecca, according to you, what do you think a person should do in order to uh, in order to get fluent in speaking in English? And how do you think Cambly can help? At the Cambly Tutors, we're here for both of you. So whether you just want to generally learn English and become conversational, great. Let's mm -hmm. practice conversation. Let's do really basic topics. If you have something specific, some people are looking to pass tests. Some people are looking to improve their business English we can tailor whatever you want, whatever the student uh, requires or wants. It's that simple. If you're a student or a professional and want to practice speaking regularly through Camly, then I've got a sweet discount for you. Just download the Camly app, go to the subscribe page and enter the code TOF25OFF and you'll get a 25% discount on any of the three month plan. But if you want to try out Camly first before buying the package, then use the below link to get a 15 minute trial at rupees 99. I've left the app link in the description. Download it and start talking. There's so much of English content in this world that for every step I've mentioned earlier, there are not just movies, but TV shows available too. For example, for step number two, which is who you want to be, you can watch the English TV series Suits if you want to be a lawyer. House for doctors and Brooklyn 99 for cops. Why restrict yourself to just movies then? So today's bonus tip is this. To really learn English, you need to start consuming all of your content in English. Enjoying cricket? Switch to English commentary. Reading a newspaper? Switch to the Hindu. Watching a YouTube channel? Switch to the urban fight. Where we have more than 100 English videos related to career, finance and communication for you to learn from. Now you go practice English. And I'll go work on my next video.
But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get a notification every time we upload a useful video. I promise to see you again in the next video. Until then, keep fighting the urban fight to be fit. Thank you.